If Origin is unable to get updated to its latest version, users will not be able to play their favorite video games that are installed on your Windows 11 tenths computer. If you play video games quite often, then this is something you do not want to happen. There are multiple ways to solve this problem, and as expected, we will discuss all of them. In most cases, though, the issue is caused by Origin's cache, therefore, the most sensible first step to take here is to clear the cache. I'm going to explain how to do that along with other options if clearing the cache fails to work as intended. Method 1. Clear Origins Cache In order to open the run box, you must press the Windows key R buttons on your keyboard. Once that is done, a small window will appear at the bottom left of your computer's desktop. The next step here is to go to the program data folder. Simply type percent program data percent into the run dialog box and hit the enter key or press OK. The program data folder should now be visible but do not get confused by the many folders. After entering the folder, you will need to look for a folder inside known as origin. Enter that particular folder and delete everything apart from local content. After entering the folder, you will need to look for a folder inside known as origin. Enter that particular folder and delete everything apart from local content. From the app data folder, look for origin and delete the contents within it. You can also delete the entire folder if you so wish. Finally, restart your computer, then check if EA origin is working as it should. Method 2. Disable Origin Client Service on Startup. Press the Start Menu button on your keyboard, then search for MS Config. From the search results, please select System Configuration. Now, once the window has loaded, you will want to choose the Services tab, then from there, tick the box, Hide All Microsoft Services. The next step from here is to look for Origin Client Service from the list and uncheck it right away. Hit Apply Greater than OK, then reboot your computer. Finally, see if you can update the client.